Good evening ladies and gents, so the first off in our guides for Conan is exactly what to do when you first start the game. So when you first start the game and after you've made your character, this is where you're going to be. You're going to be stood literally with nothing really around you other than a big kind of statue thing over there and something that you need to go and pick up first. Run over here and grab the water skin. This will contain water and you're going to need this to survive the initial part of Conan. If you don't pick this up it's going to become very very difficult very very quick. Now if you read the note as well it will actually talk it through so you don't actually have to read it yourself. Go into your inventory and equip your water skin into one of your slots so you can use that as soon as you actually need to. Now depending on what server you're playing on you may level up straight away. If you do then go into that and go for survival first. This is going to really help you sort yourself out and get stuff sorted before you start getting further and further into the game. Next off, what you need to do is you need to start crafting some bits and bobs. I will show the crafting system in a different video. In this one I just want to show you exactly what you need to be picking up. So first off, you will find plants. These will give you plant fiber, sometimes seeds and sometimes insects. Insects you can eat, seeds I believe you can plant later on. Plant fiber is used to make clothing. Secondly, you will find little stones like this. Make sure you grab them because they are going to be very, very useful to you very, very quickly. Make sure you grab every one that you can see because you will be blasting through these very quickly when you start actually crafting. Before you leave this area, run over here and just interact with that statue as well. Just to make sure, just in case it has anything to do with the story, it will start progressing the story for you. Once you're down the road a little bit, making sure you collect as much stuff as you can, you will slowly come across branches. Now going into, or grabbing all these branches are going to start allowing you to create the first things that you need to start creating. So these are going to be pickaxe and all of the rest of it. So I said I was going to show the crafting video in another video. What I meant was I was going to show it later on and this is going to be probably the best time to show the crafting stuff. So when you actually go into your inventory you will have a crafting screen on the right here. All the recipes that you already know are on the right. If you want to learn more recipes you need to go into level up and then learn recipes and this will tell you the amount of points you have available, the amount of points you've spent, uh, all the ones in green are the ones that you know, all the yellow ones are the ones that you can now learn and all the red ones are ones that you cannot learn currently either because you're not high enough level or they need prerequisite traits or crafting recipes that you have not yet learnt. For example this one for the light boots requires these three here okay that's how easy this crafting system is really really simple to get started so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to craft a um, I'm going to learn apprentice craftsman which I highly highly advise you do first make this the first crafting recipe you learn because this is going to allow you to make a bedroll which is going to allow you to actually save your game so in case you die you don't want to be running all the way back from the start. You can actually put this bedroll down and this is where you're going to respawn from. Really recommend you do that first. Once you do that, what you want to be looking at is picking up the stone hatchet and then just starting to go through and craft all your clothes once you gain enough fiber. Now, you'll notice you do have a few slots in your crafting queue here with this game. It's very nice because you can actually run around and carry on doing what you're doing as the thing is crafting in the bottom right there. And I believe it does not affect the crafting speed whatsoever. So just carry on doing what you're doing and make sure you're picking up everything that you can to begin with. So then once you've ventured down the road a little bit you will come to a bit which is separated by these massive rocks here and it starts to look a little bit more hospitable. Now the reason why I said 
doing the apprentice craftsman first is because it also gives you the chance to unlock a stone hatchet. Now the stone hatchet and a stone pickaxe are going to be your main tools in harvesting stuff. You are still going to need branches and they are still on the floor around you so make sure you pick these up because I believe you actually can only harvest these off the floor. You can also use these items as weapons as shown or demonstrated there. Now, with any monsters you find, it is a lot like other games. Make sure you have a look at it first so it's not carrying anything. After that, just literally harvest it with whatever weapon you've got in your hand. This will give you a load of different stuff to actually start using as well. Bone, hide, feral flesh, everything else that you are going to find on monsters is going to help you in crafting so for the time being keep hold of everything that you come across if you're finding that you need to start actually making some weapons just defend yourself a little bit more then mercenary is your next step once you actually unlock this one you can make yourself a stone sword and a stone or a wooden shield now to do this you need twine twine you need to craft from plant fibers so it's all interlinked as you can see just get that all going once that's all done I will then make a sword but for the time being what I'm going to do is actually go off and start harvesting some wood because the quicker I can actually get a base set up I can actually get stuff stored it's going to make my life a lot lot easier so with the stone hatchet obviously attack the trees and this will give you loads and loads of wood which is very very useful it does give you a few branches as well but to be honest the majority of branches you still want to be picking up off the floor make sure you're still getting plenty of plant fibers as well because you will be needing all of this for the twine that you will be making for a lot of items Okay, so I've harvested loads and loads of wood now. Now what I need to harvest is a load of stone. To do this, use your stone pickaxe on any of the rocks around here and they will actually slowly break up, as you can see there. Now, I'm now carrying too much, which is a perfect time to tell you about the six bars at the top left. So starting from left to right, you actually have your health, then your stamina, then your thirst, your food, your experience, and then your weight. Now you'll see the weight is broken up into four different sections. You have a green section, a yellow section, an orange section, and a red section. Once you start hitting these sections, your character will start slowing down. So make sure if you're getting near this to start dropping stuff you don't need. At the minute, I have absolute stacks of wood, which I really don't need to keep. So I'm going to just drop all of that for the minute. And that will significantly lower my weight very, very quickly. What I'm also going to do, because I am starting to get a little bit hungry, I am going to actually eat some insects as well, which is very useful. They don't fill you up completely, but they're very useful to use, so just make sure you get a whole load of them, because they will become very, very useful very, very quickly for you. Now, I'm starting to run out of water in my... Uh, skin so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and dodge all of these monsters and I'm going to try and find a river or a lake or a pond of some sort I believe there is one down here there we go what I need to do is actually go out into the lake make sure I'm not being followed go out into the lake and just press the button that I actually use on my hotbar for the item oh god I seem to have found everyone. Oh no, there's another monster that's just spawned in as well. Okay, so onto the leveling up screen. Now I'm going to show you exactly what each of the things do. Now strength is determined. Strength is determined. Strength determines the damage that you do in melee. Agility actually affects your ability on moving when wearing different clothing types. Your vitality is the size of your health pool. Your accuracy is the amount of damage that you do with ranged weapons. Your grit 
is the size of your stamina pool your encumbrance is how much stuff you can actually carry and then your survival is your ability to live in harsh conditions so you do want to space points out over the course of the game as you're playing but to be honest if you're focusing on melee or ranged obviously that's going to determine whether you're going to go accuracy or strength everything else though you do need to put a decent amount of points in when you first start the game though i would highly suggest you put points in survival encumbrance grit and agility uh, strength this should help you survive a little bit longer in the beginning parts of the game especially encumbrance strength and grit and vitality sorry because that will really affect how you play this game like absolutely massively really really do suggest you do that so you can actually decide whether you're going to play ranged or you're going to play melee as well and then you can actually look at picking up the archer as soon as you can as you're going through make sure you pick up all the survivalist stuff like campfires and sealed waters so you can build campfires and sealed waters to list um what skins and all that kind of stuff as well because again that stuff is the kind of stuff that you are definitely going to be needing i would also pick up a torch because this is going to help you massively at night keep a point or two so you can actually decide on where you're going you don't need to worry about building stuff right at the start here however if you do really want to get stuck into the building as quick as you can then the apprentice stonemason is the way to go so then guys, that's where I'm going to leave this beginning guide. I hope I have covered everything so you can start your venture into Conan Exiles. I'm really enjoying this game so far. Now I am going to be starting a gameplay load of videos on this. I'm probably really going to be doing live streams of them. However, I will be recording a few now and again of just different things that I'm doing in the game. So if you are interested, please do subscribe. That would be fantastic. Like the video if it has helped you. Please do share it around as well if it has helped you. Thank you very much much for watching and as always i will catch you guys in the next one